Alexia NYIC and I'm here in Canmore at the Snowy Owl Dog Sled Tours. I am so excited to go on a rough-tastic tour with the dogs. Oh! I'm here with Jeremy, the owner of Snowy Owl Dog Sleds Company. So, how are you, Jeremy? I'm awesome. How are you? Good. So, how many dogs do you have here? We have up here today 115, but we have a total of 187 dogs. So, um, how long has this bus business been running? My mom and dad started our company in Camor in 1983, and so we're coming up on 33 years this year, and currently my sister and I own the uh, company. Do you know all the dogs' names? Yeah, we sure do. We know all the dogs' names, what positions they run in, who they get along with, who they don't get along with and um, you know their ages, their breeds, we need to know all that stuff so when we're building dog teams, we know where to put the dogs at what time of day and under certain conditions. What kind of tours can you take? We do two hours, four hours, eight hours, two days, but what's most unique about our outfit is along with those length of tours, we teach all of our clients how to drive their own dog teams. What are the controls that you use during a dog sledding? Well, the manual controls, of course, are your brake. And that's about the only manual control that you have with the dogs. Everything else is, uh, is voice command. So, the, of course, the command to go is hike, and the command to stop is whoa. The command to turn right is G. The command to turn left is ha. Uh, sometimes you'll be passing in wildlife or distractions. In that case, the command's on by. Um, and then just generally encouraging them throughout the, the tour. It's very much like children. You're always talking to them and loving them and, and letting them know they're doing a good job. Where do the dogs come from? Well, most of the dogs are born in our kennel. Uh, when my mom and dad started in 83, they purchased some dogs from some friends of theirs, and uh, they ended up getting them from uh, some kennels in the States. Really nice dogs. And then ever since then, we've been breeding our own bloodlines. So we've got about 12 different bloodlines in the kennel, and every so often we'll bring in a new bloodline. But we also do a lot of rescue work as well. We work pretty closely with the SPCA in uh, Alberta. Um, and in Canada really and uh, the Calgary Humane Society as well so uh, sometimes we'll adopt dogs out if they, they don't end up being good house pets. What kind of breeds do you have? We actually have six different breeds of husky so we've got your classic Siberian husky you know the ones everyone sees on TV and when people say husky that's usually what they mean but the white mask and the blue eyes we also have the original Siberian husky they're called Sepla Siberians and uh, the ones that we have in our blood and our kennel their bloodline dates back nine generations to Leonard Sepla who's one of the first guys to get the Siberian Husky. They're pretty awesome dogs. And then we have the Canadian Indian Husky, which is native to North America, so Southern Canada, Northern United States. We have the Canadian Eskimo, which is what the Inuit use. And that is actually, in fact, the closest relative to the wolf. So they're the big, huge, fluffy ones. Uh, we also use the Alaskan Malamute, again, a Northern breed, pretty popular breed, and most people know what they are. And then finally, the Alaskan Husky, which is the most common breed in the dog sled, um, dog sledding world today. I'm here with Tommy from one, one of the dogs from the Snowy Owls Sled Tours. So how do you like doing the tours? Yes, okay. What do you eat here? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'm Alexia and YYC.